This is a quick video tutorial just to show you how to import um, data for printing onto labels in Brady Workstation. Uh, really handy for um, cable identification. This is our Excel spreadsheet. We'll just give you a quick look in here. So our Excel spreadsheet, we've got um, two lines that we want on the label. So this is our first line um, and this is our second line of data. So pretty straightforward. Uh, if you want different lines on the label, you need to have them set up here as different uh, columns in the spreadsheet. That's our spreadsheet finished in there. We can open up Brady Workstation. So within Brady Workstation, we're going to use the Custom Designer app. Uh, you can also use Custom Designer Lite, which is the free version. Um, if you need to add any plugins or add-ins, you can do that via the Brady App Store, which is accessed there. Uh, we'll straight into Custom Designer. Uh, Custom Designer app is the main software for designing your own labels. So you can use it for all sorts of different things, asset labels, uh, cable labels, safety signs and labels, etc. Uh, once we're into Custom Designer, we just check we've got the correct printer installed and, and configured here. So we have BMP71 is the printer we're using today. Um, the BMP71 updates us here that of what the um, installed uh, label is. It's this one, which is a um, self-laminating cable label. So we select that label, click Create. That opens up the label here. So this is the white printable area and the clear tail. Up in this top right hand corner we've got a view level so it's worth zooming in so that you've got a nice big work area there. So that's the same label just we've zoomed in on that white printable area. And to import our data from the spreadsheet we use this tool here which is the Excel import. This is a plugin so uh, if you haven't got that accessible here in Custom Designer just go back to the Brady App Store and, and add in the Excel import which is a, a free module. So. We select the uh, Excel import. This opens up this, this sort of configuration tab here. Currently no data selected. We click select, select, delete, select Excel file. Uh, the file is just saved on our desktop. And it's this file, cable idents. So we want to open that file up. Um, it gives you a bit of a preview at the bottom half of the screen here. So we just need to tell it to use the first row as header which means that it won't pull in the, the heading lines in the spreadsheet, just our main data from uh, rows two onwards. Here you can tell it whether you want to pull in text or barcode. We want to pull in text. Over here, it's important that you've got that box ticked when this label file is opened to refresh the values. Basically, that means if you change the data in the spreadsheet, when you open this label file for printing, it'll, it'll, it'll use the refresh data from the, the spreadsheet. So to pull the data in, you literally just click and drag the first line up somewhere up here. And the second line, pull that up, plonk it somewhere there. Don't worry too much about placement. We're finished in here, so we go back to the editor. We've created that data import link. Back to the editor. Once we've come into here, we can click each of these different objects. And if we want to amend the, uh, the size, for example, we can change the font size of that of that line there. Pull it into the center. Um, this one here again, we can step up the uh, the size if we want to. You can also change the font style and bold italic underline is added or taken off there. Um, to center that up, there's quite a neat option up here, so you can click a range and center vertically. Uh, and this one is center. Ah, sorry, that's center vertically. That's center horizontally. Um, so center, center, uh, center just obviously centers up the text. We can then drag it up, uh, click off it, then back onto it, and just drag it up. That's our label. That's how you do a, an import from a spreadsheet. Great for asset labels, great for cable identification, and lots of other general um, general labeling applications where you've got some kind of data you want to print. You don't want to have to recreate it in the in, in the labeling app. To print our labels, we just go up to print and we can either choose to print everything or we can select some labels or print a range of labels. So, yeah, 
if we don't do anything other, we'll get everything, and that will give us data center one, data center one, but changing the, the data, then we move to data center two. So we're getting basically the data from the Excel sheet, which is great. Hit print. And